one empty campground. I don't know, maybe one night here? We'll see how the wind is. Well, I do this almost every time I come up here. I go past that campground and there's empty spots. And I'll go park in one and think to myself, oh, I'll hang out here. But then, inevitably, somebody parks beside me and they're so close and they ask questions all the time. It's so annoying. So I'm up here in the greener area up uh, near where the hydro station is. And uh, we'll see what's up here. Okay, well, that's interesting right there. Just bear with me while I find somewhere to stop. Somebody somewhere is playing a trumpet. Fascinating. Hey guys, welcome back to Run for the Hills. Doug here. Uh, so I'm out on another little adventure. I had no idea where I was going this time around. Um, I found this spot. It's um, a BC Hydro spot. And it used to be this very disgusting. And now they've kind of tidied it all up with gravel and stuff. So they used to let you kind of stay a night here without any problem. And um, now... They've got it all cleaned up. There's no signs that say I can't camp here. So I think I'm going to just sort of set up for the afternoon and see what happens. So um, it's a sunny place. It's kind of windy down by the water right now. So this place is completely out of the wind. Um, it's a little bit industrial. I can hear stuff going on down there. And uh, But back here, there's, um, you know, a nice trail for walking, I, th I think. I think it goes all the way up to the hydro um, there's this big pump station up there with this huge tube that goes down the side of the mountain. So I might go out and take a look at that if I end up staying here. Look, this Jeep is actually level, believe it or not. <laughs> the front end's about 25 inches off the ground. 29 and a half inches to be exact. So I uh, hang around and um, let's just see how this goes over the next few days. I won't be staying here, but just for one night and then we'll bugger off somewhere else. All right, talk to you soon. Looking good up here. Well, this is not too bad. Um, there's some industrial noise from down here. It's not too bad, it doesn't bother me. And uh, just doing this really minimal setup here. Just popped the tent up and I'm just going to use the the uh, 
waste toilet here for a coffee table. And um, I put the ladder up for the tent. I'm not going to do very much more because I don't know, I, I could get kicked out of here, who knows. Um, my only concern that I have is the big pile of bear poop over here. Uh, they're definitely hanging out here, so that'll be something I'll have to be aware of while I'm here. Um, but other than that, I think I'm just going to kick back for a couple hours here and just kind of see how it goes. I want to soak up the sun too because it's been so wet and cold and horrible here. And we've been getting, you know, a tiny little bit better, better weather, but now it's around 20 degrees, 21 degrees here in the sun. That feels really nice. So I wouldn't mind uh, getting a little sun, finishing my coffee, and we'll kind of see how it goes from there. Uh, so I'll uh, check in with you after I kind of just uh, hang out and relax for just a little while. Alrighty, talk to you soon, folks. All these two uh, Hydra guys came up in a quad just a few minutes ago and told me that um, not only is there bear poop all over the place, but there's also bears all over the place also. So it is the season for them, and uh, they said this is just a busy spot for them. So just to kind of, you know, keep an eye out, bang two pots together. If they show up, scare them off. But if that doesn't work, I like to be prepared. Nothing wrong with that, right? Good to go. I definitely need to get some different cookware because uh, there's a smell coming off this coating that's burning off this uh, wood stuff and um, I think I better get some stainless steel or some titanium because whatever that coating is I probably shouldn't be breathing it in so the good news is there's no bugs out I was out two weeks ago and I got eaten alive by black flies and um, there's not one. There's no mosquitoes either. So uh, there must be just kind of a break in between the black flies and the mosquitoes. And uh, right now I'm going to enjoy that because I'm not getting eaten alive. I'm still scratching the bites that I got two weeks ago. It was horrible. I don't know if you can see it. That white spot right in the center of the screen is an eagle head. He's down there having something to eat, I think. He's looking for something to eat. Oh, he's eating. Cool. Sorry it's so far away. <laughs> this is as close as the iPhone will let me get. Sorry to scare you, Mr. Pheasant, or Mrs. Pheasant. You scared me. I'm assuming water goes flying through there real fast. Cool.
this pipe is huge. I'm just gonna go stand in front of it. Give you a bit of an idea just how huge it is. It's huge. I wouldn't want to get a clog in this drain. Okay, that was terrible. It was awful. So I think what we're gonna do is head on back down. But this pipe is amazing. They just shoot water through it, I think at an amazing rate, and that's what makes power, electrical power. Pretty nice, just beautiful. Well, I'm pooped, and that was a long walk, and there was a lot of uphill. So I'm kind of tired now, and it's uh, time for a drink. makes this little ticking noise for a while while it gets going but once it gets going it's not quite as loud I've got it on the low setting there and you can hear it start so I don't really need the heater tonight but I'm um, just setting it up so tomorrow morning when it's really damp or if I wake up and I'm just cold um, I can just start this up get some heat going. Stinks at first. You can really tell the diesel's going right now. You can hear it working. All right. So I had the heater uh, turned around the other way a few minutes ago and I was testing it out to see how she'd run. Stupidly, I had this exhaust pipe 
leaned against my fender flare. And it melted, and now I'm mad. So I have to get that fixed now. That's super annoying. I'm sure there's some black plastic filler I can use. But still, that was super dumb. I'm glad I didn't turn it on and let it run all night. It would have eaten right through that thing. Anyways, get an A for effort, I guess. But a D for dumb. Look at that setup. It's not highly attractive. Wow. Looks like the robot from Lost in Space. Well, I'm up in the tent and looking forward to a good night's sleep. So we will see you tomorrow morning for coffee. Well, it's morning and it's starting to rain. And uh, so I think if I'm gonna end up with a rainy day that I'm just gonna sit tight here. Um, with all this new gravel and stuff, the drainage will be really good if it starts to rain a lot. And uh, which means I won't be in a muddy mess. So I'm just going to hang out for a bit and have coffee and just kind of see what happens. Because uh, if it's pouring rain, I don't want to be looking for my next place to camp. I'll just kind of sit tight. So let's get coffee and um, see what happens after that. Maybe it won't rain for long. Those little black flies are back. So that kind of sucks. But uh, maybe if it rains, they'll go away. You know, just surveying the damage to my fender uh, in the daylight. And it's, I think it's just disgusting. And um, as a whole, I like things to look pretty tidy. I don't think, um, I don't know. I'm probably gonna buy a new one. Maybe I can get a used one that looks exactly like this, uh, which is probably what I'll do. Dear God, am I really filming this? That's it. That's all you're gonna see. Thank God. So looking at my Jeep, looks pretty cool. I know. And, um, it does need some attention though. So all around some of the edges, uh, like, well, down here, if you look down in there, that's got some moss growing and there's more moss growing there. It's parked outside. So it, um, by a big hedge. So it gets a lot of crap on it. You see all that on in between the fender? Yeah. So that stuff's all got to get cleaned. All of my um, plastic, all of it is faded. And I've got back in black. I've just been too lazy to do it. And so um, I need to give that some attention. Um, but, you know, there's stuff in there, in the cracks. Up behind the light here, you'll notice there's goo in there that needs to get cleaned out. Um in here there's all kinds of goo i tried cleaning a bit of this moss out of here but you can still kind of see it so that's kind of gross there's more of it here it's kind of on the north side where it doesn't get any sun where it's parked and um 
But one of my biggest annoyances, other than dirty things like this and like this, is that I've got chips on my hinges. And Jeep is uh, notorious for that because your tires throw rocks and the hinges stick out, so they get smashed. So that one's much worse. It needs to be sanded and painted. Um, it's just a bit of a defect with these things, I guess. Anyways, um, because it's parked outside, it just it gets faded and dirty, and I really like to take care of things. I've been a little lazy this year, but I have to get on these projects, especially this one. I mean, look down in here. That cross member was just covered in surface rust as if it was never painted before. I mean, you can't really see it there, but when you look down into it, you can definitely see it. And that grill needs to come off, which is easy to do. And uh, I need to paint that. So get on with it, Doug. You've got jobs to do. So I've decided not to travel today. And so to keep myself busy, I thought I'd make myself some black powder shotgun shells. And um, I'm not gonna uh, film all this. I have another video uh, and I'll put a link down in the description where you can see how I make those shotgun shells. Um, but uh, this will give me something to do this afternoon and then tomorrow I'll go stay the night in my regular spot and uh, I can shoot um, some of this stuff off. And I brought my Stoger uh, coach gun. So uh, you guys haven't seen that yet, but uh, I think the plan is tomorrow that I'll head up there and do a little bit of shooting and stay the night there, stay one night. All right. Yeah, I noticed some of my tools that have been in the truck all winter seem to have gotten a little bit of surface rust on them. And this was my dad's, probably his dad's too, ball peen hammer. Uh, been around a long time. Anyways, I don't want it to get you know, rusty and ruined. So I'm just giving it a little sanding. And I got a couple other things too that need this. And um, then I'm going to spray it with some gun solvent and then some gun oil. And um, also the handle could use the oil too. So yeah, just another one of those projects. I finished making all of the uh, shotgun shells for tomorrow. So they're the glue on them is just drying. So just trying to keep busy around camp. That's looking a little better. A little bit of solvent. With some oil. Keep some oil on there too. Hopefully, it won't uh, rust again so bad. That's nice and clean, isn't it? Well, it turns out this job is turning into a massive overhaul of my tools, and you can see there's rust on the um, the fold up toolbox here and uh, so I've had these out They're not, they weren't all that bad but I've cleaned everything so it should be a little nicer when I'm done Laying out to dry, but it does, this doesn't want to come off. That's okay. Hallelujah. Well, I was just sitting there having a snack and a drink after uh, 
spending my whole day cleaning tools and making shotgun shells. And, um, well, this happened. Hi, guys. No. Can I take your decent. picture? Yeah, you got it. Oh, they're being shy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, guys. Hi. Hi, beauties. And what kind of animals are these exactly? The, these are dwarf Nigerians, right? They won't get much bigger than this. And uh, they're kind of like uh, interesting as far as that, that is concerned because a lot of people in the third world, uh, they don't have refrigerators. Sure. And they don't have a lot of land. They're landless, right? And they don't have a lot of room, right? So, right. you know, like a little family that's... Uh, this assures them of having, well, if they were male and female. They're very, very good for it to have as far as like an animal is concerned in the third world countries. They're way ahead of us, right? Yeah. But uh, these, these guys are easy to handle. Aren't they a kid, beautiful? A kid can handle them. Yes. Right? They're not too strong. Bigger ones are strong. Kids can't handle them, right? So when the kids come home from school, they have to go for a walk, right? Right. You know, and that kind of thing, you know? Hi. <laughs> Hi there. Hey, gang. How are you? And, and uh, they're, they're, they're kind. They're, they really are. They're, uh, you know, they're, they're good animals. They have a certain character. And they, you, know, uh, you get along with them. Sure. Know? And do they... Do they eat anything around here, or do they have, do they have no, a specific well, feed? They, they eat the cedar, the uh, the maple, the pine, oh, uh, good. The, the broom, right? Right. And uh, the salaberry and the uh, black hemlock. This was a good place for them because we got them from somebody's backyard. Right. They had nothing. They had nothing. They come out here and no other in paradise. And everybody says... You can come over and browse in my yard. Totally. <laughs> so they got lots of room. They got lots of friends too. They do. They do lots of lawn mowing. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> As it were. You can bring it to them, but you know, they, them doesn't mean they're going to eat it. But you know. Oh well, yeah, thank there's you. There's only two of them, right? Yes. So they do a little, little bit here and there, but. You yeah, know. they seem pretty close. Yeah. yeah but thank well, you. Well, I had a pretty nice day today. Uh, cleaning stuff up was fun. Making shotgun shells was fun. All that stuff took me all day. I was so busy. I actually never felt like I hardly sat down at all, except when I was doing most of those things. I had a nice dinner of beef stew, uh, my, one of my pre-made stews. Oh, so good, so satisfying. Tomorrow I'm gonna drive up to my regular camp spot for a while and shoot my um, the black powder shells that I just made out of my Stoger 12 gauge shotgun side by side. So I don't know if I'm going to make this video any longer because I think I always make them so long I don't know why is it because I'm rambling like I am right now that possibly could be it anyways this conversation is is dying like the fire here <laughs> like I said I'm just gonna have a quiet night and I'll see everybody in the morning for coffee Take well, good morning everyone I woke up uh, this morning and um, it was pretty damp and cool and it's been raining for quite a bit last night I think I got my coffee going here. I'm gonna pack everything up and then head off up the mountain. this logging road before I'm really just looking for a spot to get out of the wind because it's windy everywhere and it's still kind of cold but I found out tomorrow's supposed to be really nice weather so that's good so I'm just looking for a place to uh, camp for the night and my regular spot was really cold and windy right by the river so I'll just keep hunting windy though to see how windy it is last time I was here it was so messy I didn't want to stay 
there's still garbage there as you can see already. The creepy iron shed. It doesn't look too dirty. I think I might just park for a while and uh, see what happens, get some lunch. Hey, I'm taking this bit of video inside the truck because it's uh, windy enough out there where it's going to affect the audio in this recording and it'll be annoying to listen to. Anyways, I've decided to stay the night in this um, slightly creepy campsite here. Uh, there's a lot of um, shells and garbage and cans and stuff, but it'll give me something to do. I'll spend an hour cleaning that up. Uh, there's also this iron shed over here that's kind of creepy at nighttime. Ugh, it just gives you the zombie feeling. But they used to store uh, munitions in there, the logging company did. And um, so it's just kind of this derelict structure and yeah, it's not a big deal. Uh, but I think I can have a uh, relatively relaxing afternoon and evening here. Um, down at my regular spot by the river, it's it's quite cold. Even though it's sunny, it's still really cold down there. But up here, it seems to be very nice and warm. So um, let's kick back, relax, and uh, enjoy a nice afternoon uh, cleaning up garbage and stuff. Oh, well. Yeah, it's something to do. <laughs> thought about ending the video here uh, because it's starting to get kind of long. But, um, you know, I'm still got another day of camping to do. And I like to film the whole event. So some people say videos, you know, over 20 minutes or too long or whatever. Uh, it's my art, so I don't really care. Uh, I want to make sure that I film uh, all of the trips that I take. I don't want to just sort of say, yeah, my trip's over now. See you later, guys, when I actually still have one or two days left. Uh, it seems kind of weird to me. So anyways, uh, at this point, I've got one day left after this one. And uh, maybe if I stop babbling all the time, the videos would be a little bit shorter. Well, there we go. I got camp all set up. It's looking good. I haven't got to this yet. But that was much more fun, so I did that first. Now I'm all good to go. A bit more of traditional cooking tonight, not on a fire, but uh, that's nice. And tonight's entree is, oh, chicken stew. And that is going to be on top of a little blob of instant potatoes. That looks okay, right? All right, dinner time. Sun's starting to go down, so solar panels are starting to get shady. So it appears somebody has cracked into the side of this munitions shed. Always been curious what's inside, so let's take a look. Got my flashlight here, so I'm gonna need that. Oh, oh yeah, that big red box, that means explosives. Sitting right in the center of the floor of this place. Boy, they must have had a lot of stuff in there that went boom. Look at that. Cool, creepy. At least I know it's not full of zombies. Unless uh, they escaped out of that box. But I'm sure not. Cool. Well, I'm glad I got to see in there. Oh, there it is. Sweet. I'm not going in there. Must have been a bit of a job getting in here. This is not wimpy stuff. Someone was determined. Oh, I'm out of here. Isn't it June? I guess it is. I have to say, stoking this little fire all night is pretty addictive. I just wander around, picking up little sticks with my garbage picker-upper, and um, fill up this little fire. It's fun. It gives you something to do. And it's not like a great big fire where you have to chop huge chunks of wood. You can just run around picking up little bits of sticks. It's nice.
glorious, glorious blue sky. Where have you been? Good morning. Look at that. Isn't that nice? So I felt bad about melting my Jeep's fender. So I've spent a couple hours underneath my hood here, giving it a nice cleaning job. Even the spanky batteries. But look at that. Oh God. So I've got a vacuum, so I'm gonna get rid of that crap. Disgusting. <laughs> There we go. My channel is nice and clean now. You're welcome, Jeep. Finally, a day of burning hot sunshine. I'm so glad. It's just been great. I got all kinds of chores done. I'm all ready to uh, wrap up this video tomorrow morning, which is uh, the next time you're gonna see me. And uh, I promise it's gonna go out with a bang. We'll talk to you real soon. Hey guys, here I am with my uh, Stoger side-by-side 12-gauge shotgun. And we're going to shoot some black powder out of that. I have not done that yet. But she's a fine-looking uh, shotgun. And uh, I've shot it before, but just not with black powder. It's a real nice action. Let's load one up. And uh, see if we can make a mess of some of those targets back there. The... Um, Black powder rounds I made did not like fitting into this uh, shotgun and um, vice versa. It did not like them. So um, I got tons of uh, bird shot here. So let's um, fire into those targets. I call it a day. Okay, you ready? Here we go. On the left. Oh yeah, a little high. On the right. Woo. Take the big old bang. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> Beauty. Whoa, dead center. Oh, now she's done. Tell you what. Yes, sir. Woo. There's a few more going in there. Pretty redneck targets I got set up there, I'll tell you that much. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Let's see if we can knock this thing right off of there with a double off butt. Nope. <laughs> All right, thanks a lot, you guys. It's a lot of fun to get that out. I wish that it had shot black powder, but that's a really fun gun to shoot. Can't leave without uh, doing a little black powder shooting. Got a few new targets up there, just to fire off a few. And uh, let her rip. Here she goes, number one. Beauty. Woo! Gotcha. Oh yeah. Left plate. Oh yeah. Is that target down on the fridge? Let's give that one a shot. Oh yeah. Oh, I got one more. She's in. One on the left. Hey guys. Well, this uh, is finally at the end of the video. And uh, and I really like this little cam spot. It's quite private and and uh, it's actually pretty serene if it wasn't for this terrible looking furniture sitting here. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, this place needs a little bit of redecorating. I tried blowing it up, but all I did was knock it in pieces and that just wasn't enough. So in my opinion, I think we need to completely redecorate this entire campsite. Hey guys well thanks for sticking with me for this whole episode um, check out my other videos as there's fun stuff to see there too and thanks for tuning in to run for the hills we'll see you next time